when YouTube knife makers talk about what wood they're going to use to make the side scales for their knives, we often see mention of exotic hardwoods. But what about this horrible looking piece of old plywood? It doesn't look very promising, does it? Still, I thought I might get quite an interesting effect with the different layers involved in a piece of ply, so I cut myself out a cardboard template and then the shape of a knife blade. The next thing to do is to drill the handle. Okay, those are three millimeter or one eighth inch holes. I've drawn around the handle part of my steel blank with a marker pen onto the cleaner side of the piece of ply and started cutting around the line. I haven't done a very pretty job of cutting these ones out because I couldn't find my jigsaw and anxious to keep recording this video I ended up using my angle grinder. Then of course while looking for my sandy machine to tidy them up I found the jigsaw. Here there was a nasty bit so I cut that out and glued in a matchstick to replace it. After tidying them up a little bit you start to get the idea I'm not going to go right through the whole process of making this knife, I just want to show you that you can make pretty patterns using plywood for side scales. I haven't managed to get the pattern exactly the same on each side. For some reason if I concentrate too much on getting the pattern right, then I, the shape becomes very different on each side. So I've made the best compromise I can. I've scratched a sort of pattern onto the back of the side scales to give them a bit of a key to take the epoxy that I'm going to use to stick them to the tank. I've shoved a couple of bolts through to keep it all aligned while the epoxy goes off. So here you see the finished knife. As I said before, I couldn't get the patterns quite the same on either side. But I hope you see the possibilities and agree that this might be something worth exploring. I certainly think it is. I've actually made another one. With the grain running in the opposite direction. And a third with the grain running the same way. Anyway, I hope it gives you some kind of food for thought, and thanks very much for watching.